Hi, um, previously I have, I think I already made a video regarding to this topic, but now today I'm going to add some something more on this topic. So, um, first of all, I'm going to create a, um, so basically what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to, I'm going to show uh, uh, aggregate by row level data, but I'm going to allow user to sort by the by the measure, and or by the by the uh, or alpha, by the dim, uh, alphabetical order for that dimension. So first of all, I'm going to create a, a parameter, so that uh, this is for allow user to sort. So I'm going to to create a simple one uh, here. So for um, so I'm going to allow user to to choose two. Um, only two value here. So first of all, I'm going to um, allow them to sort by cells. Uh, actually, uh, based technically, it's sum of cells. And then I'm going to allow them to sort by names, which is the al uh, which is uh, the alphabetical order for that name. So now I have two values here. And then um, for that name, um, there's one trick about this. So um, now I'm going to create another calculated field. So sort by name. So um, in order to do this, there's a trick about this. So um, basically, I'm going to create. I'm going to capture the first. Um, I'm going to capture the first letter in that uh, in a string, and then I'm going to convert. That string into uh, into a number, which is uh, I think I believe is the archi code, and then uh, so for each letter there's a specific code, and then so that you can and then that that code is uh, also um, is a uh, can be related to uh, to the alphabetical order. So I'm going to show you this um, how to do this. So let's um, let's do a if no clause to make sure that. Um, that we capture uh, that we can if there is a no value we'll just convert that to zero and then i'm going to use this uh, this function here to 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 convert a letter uh, uh, the, the letter in the string to the arc to the code and then i'm going to capture uh although i use the mid here but uh my my intention is to capture the first one and then i can also and then you, I will also go for the second one and the third one later, but uh, here I'm only going to capture the first one, and then I'm also going to convert the string to all lowercase in case there's um, there's a, a uppercase in the first uh, for the first character and then lowercase for for the rest. So I'm going to force them force everything to become a lowercase now, and then um, I'm going to do this on on subcategory. So um, so now I'm going to capture the first character. So it started from the first character and then length one. So that means I'm going. I'm looking at the first character for that uh, for the string for each uh, in the subcategory. And then I'm going to multiply by a large number. You can. This is um, this number can be set by your own. It it um, the num the length of um, the size of this number depends on how long the string, or um, or uh, if there's uh, some future, if there is some if if you want to go down to the second second character or the third character in that in that in one string, so that those zero will save will give you the space to calculate that. And then I'm I'm and then here is the if is the null statement. So if there's a null value, I go to zero. So here, so the setting uh, is ready now. So uh, I'm going to go over this again. So if no, so the, if there's no value, uh, make it zero. Otherwise, uh, do this calculation. Get the f um, first of all uh, force all the characters in the string to lowercase. Capture the first letter. And then turn it to the to the code, and then you uh, and then you get the alphabetical, um, the 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 connection between the alphabetical um, character with uh, and then you convert that 
convert a letter to a to a, to a number, and then you sort by that number. That is all corresponding to that alphabetical order. So now I'm going to show you this, and then I'm going to create um to create a, another calculated field to make sure that when to make sure I can bring this to the dimension and then I can sort by this. So um I have already create a, a parameter here so I'm going to I'm going to to control this I'm going to control this uh, parameter using this calculated field so uh, so I used case statement here so case and then this is the parameter that I just create so in that in that parameter I have two values one is cells if you still remember it and then I take the cells and then one there's the name, and then I bring up the other one that I just create, the the the, the one that ca that convert a uh, character to number, and then end statement. Maybe there's a oh there is an error, but there's something else I want to point out. There's something I want to point out here. So uh, if you know that uh, so for for all your data, they are all row level or record level data. But here, um, to my purpose, um, I'm going. We are showing the aggregate data level, uh, aggregate data. So that's when that's the that's the case that you want to bring up the aggregate function here. So I'm going to use sum of cells. If you still remember, I I, I say, I, I was talking about this a minute ago that I was going technically it's, it is sum of cell, and then for this um. For this article, you want to bring the average, because, uh, for example, like the first, let's say, million record is the, is uh, is uh, furniture, so that you wanna so for each furniture, so for each, each row that that falls into the furniture category, you want to make that number the same. So you don't want to take the like the sum or the or the count or the minimum the maximum. You just want to make each row has the same value. So you want to take the average here. So now there's uh, this calculation is valid. So um, I think uh, I use yeah I use subcategory. So now I'm going to show you that. Um, so let's bring up subcategory. And I'm going to bring up the sum of cells here. So you can see that um, by default, I think uh, by default it is uh, already alphabetical order. So the function, the parameter that I just create, will allows me will allows user to sort by. There's one more thing to do. So for this, uh, for your dimension, for the for for your dimension pill. When you right click it, there's a sort here, and then you choose this field, and then choose the one that you that I just create. Um, where is it? Sort field, this one, and then for aggregation level, choose custom. If uh, you can choose the the sum, um, if you choose some, if you choose one uh, measure, then there will be like sum or average or minimum. But for a calculated field, it's just custom. So now I bring that up. You can see that um, this is uh, by this. So you can see that all your dimension is sort by sum of cell in uh, the descending order. In your um, so in in addition to this, I'm not going to show you how to do this. I think I already I, I create my previous video has already talked about this. You can create another um, another calculated field, allows user to to sort by descending or ascending order. All you need to do is that in your in your in your in your um, in your in your calculated field, you just allow. So, for example, ascending order is um, you, you take the integer one, and then for descending order, you take the integer negative one, and then that 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 uh, another, that parameter will allow user to go with. Uh, descending order or as, uh, ascending order, but I'm not. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. You can check my uh, my previous video about that. So now let me show you. So if I click name, it will it will go back to the original view where 
all the all the dimension here are sort by the alphabetical order. So you can see that all the um, letters start with A. Um, they just um, they just um, they are at the front and then B and C all the way to letter T. So now you can switch. You can also add some more field like uh, if you want to sort by like uh, let, let's say profit or qu quantity or discount. You can just you just keep adding to this parameter first and then bring that up to that um, case statement. So um, let me go back to the to sort by name here. So if you still remember, um, uh, I, I, I create this, I, I use this large number here. So this is that, uh, this is to help you. Okay, let me, let me, um, let me do this. I can also show you the, the R key code that we just convert that, um, that the first letter of the string to, to numbers. So if I sort by name, uh, do remember to change this to average, otherwise the number doesn't make sense. Uh, okay, I'm not going to change this uh, scientific um, format, but I'm just going to show you. So I'm looking for the first uh, character. So you can see all character, all, all the strings that start with uh, letter A, it is actually 97. All the letters start with B is 98, C, 99. So there's one more question for this. Let's say, the, let's say for example, for the first two uh, string, let's say there are two different subcategories, but if but maybe you realize that for the first two letter, it is A C or the A C, they are A C, but the rest, the letter, the rest of the letter are different. But how do you make sure that one come uh, in, uh, before the other one? That's that's the case when you want to add it some uh, something else. So you can copy this and then do um, adding here. So now I'm going to delete like say three zero here. So you can see that the first character. Oh, okay. So I'm also looking for the second character. So the first character, let's say A, is ninety seven. And I multiply by a large number, and then I'm adding, looking for the second letter, which is C in this case, and then C. I multi. I also multiply by another large number, but this number is um three decimal or three or uh, is um three decimal less than the the previous number. So now if I do that, you will see that each um maybe I should change the format. Let's change it to standard. Okay, so now you will see that the difference. So for for example, all letters start with C. Is it is all letters start with A. They are more they are started by nine, seven something. But the second character start with C. There is like it is like um, it is, and then you you can see the difference between this number. You can also. So this is the value for the for a string that started with A C for the first two character, A P for the first two character, the value equal to this and A R equal to this. You can also drill down to the third level, to, to the third character. You can just keep adding and then reduce the size of um for that large number. So that will that will make the that will that will help your help that uh, code looking to the first three character, in case you have some setup category that have the same first two or three letters in the in in in, their, in, in the string. So now you can sort by name, sort by cell. So um. So. Remember that uh, you can also add a, a descending and ascending order here. Um, all you need to do is to create a parameter, another parameter. You can check my previous video for that um, tutorial. And then you can keep adding 
how do you want to sort like uh, sort by sell by quantity or discount so um, thank you so much uh, this idea actually come from my colleague Jason so I hope uh, you enjoy the video and let me know if you have any question uh, if you like it please subscribe to my channel uh, let me know if you have any question and thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel